you know prove me? this isn't all right. this is exactly what I was afraid of, I swear to God. You got it all wrong. No, you got it all wrong. If you think you can punch my wife, what? Calm down, all right? This is not what you think. What I think is what I saw. Leave now. My name is on the bill. I don't care. Get the hell out. I can't, I can't, I can't do this anymore. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another bold and a beautiful review. Boy, oh boy, this Hope and Thomas situation has Liam losing his mind. When is the last time we've seen this much emotion out of Liam? And then we have Thomas up here who's barely got his job back talking about my name is on the door. Liam was like, I don't care, get out. That was hilarious to me, but we got some very interesting scenes out of Hope and Liam today, and they actually called each other out and really said some things that the audience have been saying for a while. So even after Hope explains to Liam what happens, it really doesn't calm him, and he she doesn't understand why he's so riled up about it, and he tells her he doesn't understand why she always has to pull Thomas into her life. And I have to say, he has a good point there. Like I said, they both made some good points throughout this conversation, and we're about to get into it. I have a husband who does not trust me. I mean, me, after all of these years, no. and I'm ready to jump to the, to the craziest, most incorrect conclusion because you've decided that Thomas is not capable of change. But really what takes the cake is that you think that I, little me, don't know how to handle myself around him. Now I had to laugh at Hope's little, little old me. She actually stood up for herself to Liam and called him out today. Now there was a little fantasy at the end that left me thinking, oh boy, but we're gonna talk about that. But I have to say, these are actually good scenes today because we got to see Hope and Liam in a different light. I'm sure they enjoyed playing off of each other in a different way. They continued the scene from yesterday with Liam busting in the office and telling Thomas to get his hands, off his wife and to get out of the office. So he then proceeds to berate Hope. She explains what happens. He asks her how much more of this I can take and then Hope flips it on him. I mean, Liam, you talk about being supportive and what you've had to endure. Well, what about me? What about everything that I have had to endure? The trust that I have had to put into you after everything you've done in the past. Let's talk about that. So I was thinking, yes, Hope Girl, it's about time you call him out on all his BS because he seems to forget all that he has put her through over the years. Now, what do y'all think his response was? Do you think he piped down and apologized? No, 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 not Liam. He said, Hope, you know it's not you that I don't trust. I don't trust Thomas. So he totally ignored her example and went back to discussing Thomas. Now, I actually went back and forth in this conversation because they both made some good points. He made the point of saying that Steffi put her in that position to have to pick Thomas or her line because Thomas is her brother, because it's not like Thomas is the only designer in LA. I mean, let's be real here. If they really want to find another designer, they could. Sally has designed for her before. It's not like Thomas has always been the only person to design for Hope for the Future. He could have came back to Forrester and worked on Couture. So this BS about it has to be Thomas is just that, BS. So I did agree with Liam on that. He tried to convince Hope to take Thomas off the line. She wouldn't back down. When she didn't back down, he did and said, let's just go home. She refused and said she needed to get some more work done with Thomas. Liam gets upset and storms out. Now, this is where it gets a little interesting. It makes me think, Hope, what are you doing here? We got this. I know. So after Liam storms off, Hope begins to reflect on everything that he said about not trusting Thomas and remembering how he kept their daughter away from him and how hurt she was during that time. Then she starts to think about moments where she was closely working with Thomas on fittings and stuff. 
And it appears that Thomas walks in to tell her that they've gotten good reviews for Hope for the Future, but this is actually the fantasy continuing. And that's when she says, we've got this. And they have that near kiss, which was a fantasy. Now, during all this, she also reflecting on Brooke saying, you don't go for the bad boy. I knew that was foreshadowing. I knew they were going to try to use that. I don't know if they're trying to say that Hope is going to morph into wanting the bad boy now. I don't know where they're going with this, but they're definitely going down this road where something may happen with Hope and Thomas. So comment below and let me know your thoughts about this Hope, Liam, and Thomas drama. The spoilers for tomorrow say that Hope worries about her marriage and tries to plan a romantic evening for Liam. So we'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like the video. And if you missed my recap from yesterday, you can check it out here.